developers, we're inspired to create exceptional spaces for people to enjoy. Quality is obviously extremely important for us, as is our client journey. But one of the most important things is we're trying to create an architectural legacy. And that architectural legacy isn't just for the residents that reside within the building, but it's for anyone who comes in contact with one of our buildings. And Sarah Brighton is no exception. I'm Tim Lowe. And I'm Emma Lowe, and we're founders and managing directors of Low Living. Sarah Brighton was fortunate to have three strong design collaborators in Warren & Marnie, Jack Merlo and Beck Judd. Through their esteemed contribution to the project, we're able to achieve a timeless and architectural legacy for Brighton. The initial brief for Sarah Brighton was to design a high quality building that focused on an owner-occupied downsizing market and produced a high quality addition to the local village. I'm Nick Deans, Principal at Warren Amani and Lead Designer for Sarah Brighton. The Sarah Brighton acts as a gateway to the Dindi village. It uh, created an opportunity to reinvigorate the local high street Building on the existing building, which was made up of um, sub arch formations and layered with brickwork, sort of took that as a cue for the design of the new building. Great apartment buildings always strike that harmonious balance between architecture and interior design. Hi, I'm Beck Judd. I'm the Interiors Consultant on Sarah Brighton by Low Living. My design intent with this project was to create gorgeous homes that evoked a sense of relaxation and calm whilst being surrounded by luxurious and sophisticated design features. The internal and external elements really complement each other in this project uh, with some curved design features that I added into the apartment. So one is the curved tundra handle on the TV joinery unit. Another one is the curved leg on the island bench. And of course, the gorgeous domed pendant light in the bathroom. I'm Jack Merlo, the landscape designer for Sarah Brighton. So the initial brief from Low Living and uh, also working closely from the early stages of the design with Warren and Marnie was to create a really seamless integration between the different design disciplines being architecture, interiors and of course uh, the landscape. So with Sarah Brighton I suppose wherever we did have the opportunity to incorporate landscape and being um, a mixed use development with uh, retail or food and beverage at the bottom and apartments above. We really had to be innovative with the way we incorporated landscaping. Sarah Brighton in one word for us is harmony. It's about striking that balance of the Bayside lifestyle with the village atmosphere. One of my favourite elements of the design is actually a feeling, and it's the feeling you get when you walk into these apartments. Of course they're luxurious, but it is that feeling of relaxation and feeling like you're at home. My favourite part about Sarah Brighton was that we were given the opportunity to transform an iconic location in Brighton and give back something so beautiful, timeless and creative to the community. <laughs>